AI isn't just about side projects anymore. It's becoming part of how we all work every day. In this video, I'm going to show you how exactly I use Claude 4 to automate about 50% of my work and how you can start using it too across both simple and complex tasks. For those who are new here, I've been working in the data science domain for about 10 years. And for those who are familiar with the job family, you know that it can be messy, especially when dealing with data. It wasn't until LLM became mainstream that I started using generative AI to do tasks that I didn't want to do. Cloud4 launched a month ago, and surprisingly, it has already become a core part of my workflow. This video is sponsored by Anthropic, but Everything I'm sharing in this video is based on my experience using Claude 4. I have used it as a personal assistant for everything from planning and research to building models and communicating results. And in this video, I'll take you through a typical day and show you four ways I'm using Claude 4 to automate my workflow and how you can too. So before we jump into the four use cases, why Claude 4? Claude 4 release includes updates to its Opus 4, Claude code, Sonat 4 and more. The best part of these launch are these stats and you're going to be in for a surprise. Opus 4 ranked really high on coding benchmarks. It scored 72.5% on software engineering benchmarks. It also handles deep reasoning and multi-step tasks really well, which makes it a good fit for everything from modeling to agent-like workflows. Now, I want to take a pause here. And if you look at this chart right here, Opus 4 out performed all existing LLM models out there, especially for coding. So I'm really excited to show you all what it's all about. Sonnet 4 is also part of the Claude 4 family. It's optimized for speed and efficiency, and it's a big upgrade over previous versions, making it great option for lighter everyday tasks. Okay, enough of me talking about the release. Let me actually show you in practice how Claude 4 is actually helping me in my day-to-day. -day. One way I use Claude 4 is to help me plan and prioritize my day, especially when I'm starting my day, and especially when the inputs are coming from multiple sources like email, calendar, Google Drive, documents, and my to-do list. I have integrated this into my content creation workflow at SK Media, which is a small business entity. All right, let's jump into the, actually the demo part. So this is the prompt that I enter because I already have all my apps integrated. What I'm gonna ask it, can you, Tell me about today's meetings and top action items that I need to be on top of. It will look into my calendar, my email, my current projects, documents and drive and my to-do list and tell me like what I need to prioritize today. Literally like having an assistant. And the coolest thing is that integration, which makes it literally streamlined. How you can use it, honestly, you can do the same thing that I did here. You can integrate your calendar, OKRs, project documents, and basically use it like an assistant and ask it to organize your life, basically, uh, like I did. So let's say once I have planned my day, I often dive into research papers for the project I'm working on. For example, I'm currently researching on how to design small-scale geo-based experiments for a project that I'm working on. You saw this on my calendar earlier. I need to do research to understand the ideal methodologies for balancing control and treatment geo without losing statistical power. I know this is a lot of data science terms that I'm throwing at you, but basically what I want to do is run a small, think of it like an A-B test, but using geos. For example, I can pick Seattle in uh, one group and New York in another group. So that's how like I'm dividing the region in the US and then I'm running a test on top of it. An example of would be like Uber is launching a new feature for drivers who are in New York and so on. So enough of me talking, let's actually jump into the demo. I have found these three research papers. One is on randomized experimental design via geo clustering. Second one is large scale experimentation at Google. The third one is a time-based regression plus match market approach for designing geo. Um, now, all these three papers are super meaty, have a lot of information in it. What I would do here is input all these four papers into Claude 4. And you can see that it does a really, really, really good job summarizing the insights for me. And it also gives me some options for methods and as well as trade-off. So now what I'm going to do as a follow-up, I'm going to ask it to put it together in a one pager so I can take that and present it into the meeting. I'll also be using that to brief myself to like come up with some ideas. That way, basically, when I go into that meeting, I'm going to go in prepared because technically, I have read three research papers to prepare for that meeting. So if you have a project that you're working on where you actually have to do some research, definitely take advantage of the complex work 
that Claude Four is capable of. I'm actually generally really, really surprised because if you look at that one pager that it put together, I asked it to turn all the methodologies and trade-offs into a table so it's easy for me to evaluate. It did that beautifully. I love the formatting in Claude in general. Okay, moving on to coding and analysis work. Typically in data science, my days are split from like doing some research to like writing documents to writing code on an existing project that I'm working on. In this case, how I would use Claude 4 is literally doing end to end because Claude 4 has agentic AI capabilities. And I'm going to actually show you because this is literally my favorite part of Claude and how powerful it is. And as you saw earlier that Claude 4 actually beats the software engineer benchmark across all existing LLM models. I'm actually really excited about this one. And this is exactly where Claude shines as an assistant. For this demo, I can't use my real work data. So I created a sample messy orders data with about a thousand rows. The data has duplicates, it has missing values, inconsistent product names and outliers. So we're going to give this data to Claude 4 and put it through a test and see if it fails or pass. My goal in doing this work is to clean the data, build a time series forecasting model and create an automated dashboard that refreshes as new data comes in. This is a lot of work and technically for a human would take me actually days to do this, but with Agentic AI, this is going to be super fast. And obviously like I'm not going to like have an Agentic AI do everything end to end. This is obviously a simple yet complicated use case because it's multi-step. It obviously requires that you actually understand and know what you're doing. So no, it's not going to replace us. It's going to be a tool that we can use. Think of it like a smart coworker that you have access to and you can give them work. Coworker, assistant, coworker, intern, whatever you want to call it. Anyways, so this is the prompt that I entered. I uploaded the file and I told it like, here's the raw orders data, write Python code to clean the data, remove duplicates row, handle missing values, standardize date formats standardize customer names and product names and output a clean data frame. And as you can see, it is doing that, all of that phenomenally. The second step that I did is I gave it another prompt where I said like use this clean order data, build a time series forecasting model to predict total order volume per week for the next four weeks. Include feature engineering, cross validation and plot of actual versus forecasted order volume. And lastly, I ask it to write Python code to create a dashboard using Streamlit to display the time series plots. The dashboard should refresh as a new data is added. And this is where I was actually blown away. Uh, maybe because I personally do not like building dashboards. So I want to like hand off the dashboard work to other people as much as I can. And if I can hand that over to AI, to an ag agentic AI, like honestly, please take that work away from me. Because that's what I was talking about. Like there are certain types of work that I do not enjoy doing. Dashboarding is definitely one of them. And if I, I can use AI, which I am using AI to like automate the dashboarding work, please do it for me. So as I said, like coding and building where Claude 4 specifically shines, I mean, I'd love the formatting, but like the coding capabilities are top tier. So if you are working on a project that requires coding and building some dashboards or custom apps, you can literally code with English. As they say, English is the new coding language. So my last and final use case, at the end of the day, I use Claw to wrap up meetings and generate follow-ups. For example, after the GeoBase experiment meeting, I needed to send out a follow-up email with key takeaways, action items, research, link to the papers and propose next meeting time. And I did take rough notes during the meeting. Uh, honestly, I can like integrate AI to take notes for me but I was doing it myself. So as you can see, I input these rough notes into Claude 4 and I asked it to write a really nice email for me with next steps and a meeting proposal. And wow, literally blown away how good of a job it did. And the email draft that I spit out, it looks beautiful. I wanted to keep this video short and sweet and practical for you all. I would love to hear how you are using Claude or other AI tools in your work. What's one workflow you have automated or one you want to try? Share it in the comments. I'm always learning from what you are all doing. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in the next video. Have a good one. Bye.